All right, we are once again at Verlöse Airstrip, a abandoned military air base that is now a recreational area where you are allowed to go and fly your drones and the perfect spot for doing a range test. And the subject this time is a well-known member of the channel, the DJI Mini 2. Today we're going to see if we can make it to the end of this airstrip. And how do I actually manage to do that? I do that by bringing along a spotter. So I brought my assistant, Moreno, that is uh, going to ride along uh, together with the drone, filming with the Insta360. So we have, and we, I will record the screen on the old remote here. So we will have everything on screen to see what's going on. So we can monitor the signal strength, uh, the video feed, and all the other important stuff when you fly around. I have made sure that I don't have any Bluetooth enabled uh, devices in my um, like AirPods or such that can interfere with the signal. I also disabled both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on the phone, as well as on the phone that I'm using here on the old DCRC, uh, DC, DCN1 uh, remote controller for uh, the Mini 2. Unfortunately, we don't have a full charge as these batteries have a tendency to discharge themselves when they are stored in the back. So hopefully we can make it to the end and hopefully, we, and even more hopefully, we can make it back. <laughs> So I will launch the drone and Moreno, um, you could just uh, drive along and then uh, I will try to catch up with you. And now there is a lot of bikes out here, man. There's a lot of bikes riding out here right now. And hopefully they will stay in that side. <laughs> of the runway. <laughs> so now it's updating the firmware on the remote controller. That's very, very convenient, especially when we don't have much power left. Firmware update, remote controller, automatic restart. Let's hope everything is working like it's supposed to. Yeah, yeah, some technical difficulties getting started here. Just to show you, what we're running 161 is the app version here. So now we're here. All right, put in video mode. We're recording 4K 30 FPS. And again, we are, have to confirm that we are in an airfield where we are allowed to be. So DJI, please kindly update that. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. So we're over the cross here. There you are. We will be conducting this test in normal mode. We only have 60% battery. So you need to ride faster, Moreno. Okay. Yes. Not into the bikes. Yes. Man, they're coming down here after you. <laughs> Shit. Woo. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm trying. I'm trying not to be hit by a bike. Ah, okay, they are moving into the side. So, we are at 400 meters now. We still have a long way to go. Let me just pull up the gimbal here so you can see how far we have to the end. So it's, uh, it's fair to say the end is not near. So, we're still down here. We're riding there nicely, side by side here. 56% battery, we still have strong signal. We are crossing 700 meters now, without any issues. Still doing a pretty good job here. So. Are you slowing down? So we are closing in on 1,000 meter. I'm thinking when I edit this, uh, Moreno, I think I would put maybe the, the meter of how far we are going in the corner of the real video. 
and then the, the, the battery and all the other stuff in the other end and then cut out all the sort of the waste of the, of the screen recorder because that video is not very nice anyway. So you can see the real deal from the drone. I will experiment with that. So 1200 meters, strong signal, we're still going strong. I follow you. You're slowing down. You're out of battery. <laughs> no, you're slowing down. I can fly faster. I can outrun you. So the bikes. So, so let's try the magnification thing here. So maybe you could film the wheel a little bit from the side. You're already doing that, maybe lower to the ground. That's such a cool angle. And I can show this while we are... Yeah, I'm just above you, yeah. I'm only flying 22 meters above you, so maybe I should increase the altitude a bit. Just to make it fair to some of the other tests that I've done out here. So we still have 46 minutes. No, not minutes. That would be nice if we had 46 minutes, 46%, 45% left on the battery. We are closing in on two kilometers. Yeah. We're still not seeing any dropouts. It's rock solid. Okay, I did say that maybe a little bit too premature. Let's just increase it to 40 meters. This seems to be a very good altitude. We're testing this. So we're getting free off the ground, not having problems with signals that are interfering while it's bouncing off the surface. Battery level is low. Uh, why is it saying that already? You can't say battery low on 41%. You've got to stop that. Bollocks. So we are getting close. Yes. Battery is getting low with 40% left. No, I don't like that. Maybe, uh, I don't know, the return to home kicked in because we are so far away from the end point here, or the takeoff point. So, are we uh, closing in on the end? Yeah. Let's just race up the gimbal here. Yeah. So we are there, and then we will continue a little bit, maybe to as long as you can uh, comf comfortably see it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are uh, bringing down the juice now. So I guess we are we are starting to see moderate signal, but it has been strong until now. This is about the spot where you can't see it anymore, I guess. Uh, yeah. yeah. So let's stop there and uh, then uh, maybe have it return. Go home. We don't have like a ton of uh, battery left, but we know we have some hidden tricks up our sleeve because we know, we know that with a DJI drone, we can keep it airborne even though the battery is uh, completed, not completed, depleted. So, you can ride back. Yeah. Just go ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah. And see this one. So this one I can actually play around with the gimbal. And I can put it like this while it's returning to home. Do like a nice landscape thingy. It's still heading at, in direct uh, towards me, but I can do this so I can show you a little bit of the surroundings on the way back. I kind of uh, missed that feature on, uh, on the Mini 3, so I turned it on the other side here, you see. It's really, really nice. You can see some of the houses that are in the, in the back of, uh, of this airstrip. And we can just enjoy very peacefully the battery depleting.
<laughs> so let's go out full size here so you can see the sort of the, the sheer magnitude of this place. You can see the, the green uh, buildings over there. They are like really, really big hangars. I think that's where they fixed the uh, fighter jets uh, when this was uh, a place for the military. This was a decommissioned uh, back some, I don't know, back in this, I think it was in the beginning of the 80s. The military stopped using this facility out here. Maybe some of you actually know the story and can comment it below uh, this video. Um, but it has been turned into a very, very nice recreational area. This is also why you see all the, the bikers uh, running around, uh, not running, but riding around out here, testing their skills. It's super, super ideal. So maybe we can catch some of them here that they are riding. So. And this is uh, super nice that you can just navigate uh, the drone here. I can even make it look backwards and it's still returning to home. So this is where we came from. So. We still have uh, one kilometer. Let's just film a little bit here on the buildings here. We do with the magnification and it's really nice. We can maybe just, yeah, we couldn't do that. I forgot that you can't set the brightness on the screen. <laughs> Only in photo mode. So, we are closing in. We still have around of one minute and 26 until forced landing. We know that we can still keep it airborne, even though it goes into forced landing. So let's just turn around here so we can see how far we are from home. Ooh. Getting all dizzy with this. So put it back to times one. So we are at the gray field here, or I am at the gray field here. And Moeno, he is uh, just behind the drone, yeah? Critically low battery. Yes. Critically low battery. Hopefully it does not drop out of the sky. I would not expect it to do that unless something is failing. There's a cross. We are aiming for the cross. This is our takeoff position. How about that? Oh ho. <laughs> landing so I'm not going to show you during this test that I can keep I, I maybe I can show you show it to you yeah yeah it's coming down now so low landing so now it's going into this forced landing state I can just turn around here just let's take this one away so, let's just take it away so you can see it. So even though it's beeping and popping and doing all sorts of stuff, I can still keep it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Critical low battery. I cannot tap the landing here. So, we keep uh, looking here, it's trying to land. There's a critical low battery. So maybe we should just put it closer to the ground. You can see that it has its own battle scars on the side. <laughs> but despite that, it's actually doing a pretty good job. So now battery is depleted.
but it's still there. It's still with us. And I can tell you that it will be like that for at least for um, a period of time, because um, this is how they build it. They build in some sort of safety that will help. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we have seen drones drop out of the sky. Whoa, so now I couldn't do anything. Whoa! <laughs> At least it did drop out of the sky. Uh, it landed, but at this point I couldn't force it up anymore. So, so even though it went, it, uh, it's going down to zero percent, you can still fly it for a while until the battery is enough exhausted and then it will basically just land wherever it is. And if that's over water, that's just bad luck. <laughs> for those of you that have decided not to buy the Mini 3 Pro, there is a chance to pick up one of these through a link I have put in the description below. Also, if you're interested in watching some of the hundreds of videos that I've made around the Mini 2, I've compiled a playlist that you can access through this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you around.